Hi everyone, Old Man Mordaith here and welcome to another Crusader Quickies video. Today we're going to be talking about innovations, which is essentially the technology of Crusader Kings 3. If you like this video, feel free to like and subscribe, hit the notifications to see when I get put out new videos. So innovations are essentially a set of concepts like technology and civic ideas that are tied to your culture. To see them, you're going to want to click on this little candle down here, which will bring you to your culture menu. And you're going to want to select the innovations tab right here. You'll see that there's four eras and each era has a set of innovations underneath of it. Uh, we're going to do another video dealing with eras and progressing through them. Each era, as I said, have different innovations. Uh, again, it's very important that you understand that innovations are culture based. So if you wind up switching to another uh, culture, you're going to lose all access to all of your current innovations, and you will have to adapt the ones of the new culture. When an innovation is unlocked in a previous era, so for example, we have currency unlocked in our tribal, that carries forward to the medieval era, uh, the all future eras as well. Uh, innovations are shared between all members of a culture. If one Franconian, for example, has coinage, all Franconians have co uh, coinage. There's a progress bar for each innovation, and it will fill up eventually, unlocking it. Each month, there's a chance that it will make a small amount of progress, and that progress amount can be modified uh, by increasing the average development of cultural-held counties. And we'll do more on development in another video as well. The little blue outline over your innovation indicates that the innovation is currently being affected by exposure. So this is usually from an adjacent culture or another culture with shared religion. It gets a hefty boost to your innovation progress chance per month. You can see normally we got a 5% chance, but because this is fascinated, it's giving us an actually a 45% chance. That's a boost of 40%. So in addition to that, if you are the cultural head, you can set as what is a fascination. And this will also give you another hefty boost to your monthly progress. That's indicated by the little yellow bar, uh, little outline here. And you can see that we get a fascination bonus of plus 24%. Now that number is impacted by your cultural head's learning score. And if you have the scientific perk from the knowledge lifestyle path. So one interesting thing is you can select, if you're the cultural head, whatever innovation is currently being affected by exposure as also your fascination. And this can double down on the information, making you uh, being allowing you to progress through uh, an innovation very quickly. Fascination can be switched freely by the cultural head, but exposure is kind of locked in place. It seems to be ch chosen randomly by uh, from a qualifying cultures in the region. Uh, we're going to do a separate video on cultural and regional innovations because I think they deserve a special mention. So that's pretty much all there is for innovations. If I missed anything or if there's any questions, feel free to leave a comment in the question, uh, comment section down below. Thank you guys. Take care.